Hi, this is Ray Tiley with Tightrope Media Systems. In this video, we're going to go over some of the new features in Cablecast 5.1. So the biggest new feature in 5.1 is the SX Video Overlay app, which allows channel branding using your SX Video server. We also include an embedded VOD Silverlight player for your public website, some additional encoding options that allow for MOV encoding on your SX server, HD closed captioning, and updated SX drivers. The Video Overlay app allows you to put a crawl, a bug, and a bug text on the output of your SX server. All the images support full transparency, and the crawl supports a background and foreground image enabling highly stylized crawls. The app does require Windows 7, which is all machines shipped after July 2011. So the SX Video Overlay app allows for overlaying bug text, a bug, and a crawl on your SX Video server's output. This image highlights what those three elements are. A bug text is a static piece of text that goes in one of the four corners. It's associated to the run of whatever show is currently on the air. So that data can change for each program that your station is airing. The bug is part of your channel style and only changes when your channel changes. The bug can also be placed in any corner and supports transparency and scaling. The crawl can be placed at the top or bottom of the screen and it scrolls across the screen. We also support putting an image behind the crawl and in front of the crawl, which enables a really nice professional looking crawl. And we'll get more into that later. So let's go ahead and dive right into the app. The SX Video Overlay app lists all the channels available on your Cablecast system. For this system, we have a public access and a government channel. Once the app is installed, the first thing that we'll do is go ahead and point it at our server by editing the server address. This system will use the default local host, but if you have a pro server and multiple SX servers, you'll need to change this setting. The next thing that we'll do is we'll edit the style for our channel. So let's go ahead and go into the public access channel style by hitting the edit button. You can see that we get a tab for each of the three things that we can overlay on our server the crawl, bug, and bug text. The crawl is pretty self-explanatory. We can set the font, the color, outline. The unique feature, however, is that we can set background and foreground images that will be drawn behind and in front of the crawl, respectively. So this enables us to create some really awesome looking crawls. and We'll, we'll see that once we uh, get a crawl going on this channel. For the bug, we can upload an image. Transparency is fully supported. Uh, we can also set the opacity and we can set a uh, max width and max height that the image will be scaled to. Um, this enables us to just upload the image once, set all the properties without having to round trip to our uh, image editor back and forth a bunch of times. We can also choose the position that we put the bug in and how far from each edge of the screen it's in. Bug text is a lot like the crawl where we can choose the font. Um, we can do a text outline, a background rectangle, a background outline, um, and we can choose the corner it goes in just like the bug and how far away it is from the edge. So once you've um, edited your style and got it looking the way you want, we can go ahead and see what some of this stuff would look like if we output it on the screen. So to my left here, I have a a preview of the um, channel's output. So let's go ahead and turn the bug on. We'll see that come into one of the corners in a second. We can set some bug text. So we'll just put a date for democracy now. And we can set the crawl. So this is a good time to point out these override controls let us adjust things uh, right on the server so we can see it on the output. For normal operation, we would change all these back to auto and let the app update itself from the cable cast data. So you can see we have a bug in the lower right corner, bug text in the upper left corner, and a crawl going across the screen. Notice how the foreground image, the darker blue uh, image, cuts off the crawl, so it actually masks the crawl, so you can do some really nice effects with that. The VOD Silverlight player improves compatibility of current VOD for Apple computers and newer web browsers, such as Chrome and Firefox. 
uses Silverlight, the same technology as Netflix, so any computer currently set up to watch Netflix can watch the Cablecast VOD. It embeds directly into the Cablecast public site, but does require some additional configuration as well as a port forward in order to work. For an example, let's visit one of our customer sites, uh, Access Pittsfield in Massachusetts. So we can see on their public site, they have a schedule with a bunch of view links next to their program title. When we click one of the view links, it loads the page for that show and embeds the Silverlight player directly on the page. We can interact with this like we would expect to interact with any embedded video player on the web. Uh, we can play the video. Uh, we have some seeking controls, volume controls, and even a full screen mode. Notice that when the video is playing, we can jump around in it and seek directly to later parts in the video. Cablecast 5.1 adds some additional encoding options to SX video servers. We can now encode DVCAM and DVC Pro HD files inside an MOV wrapper. This allows, this allows us to use those files on Apple computers, such as Final Cut Pro or Avid editing stations, a lot more easily and is a great workflow improvement for lots of our customers. We also, in Cablecast 5.1, support HD closed captioning. Shown here is a chart of all the uh, closed captioning options we currently support in Cablecast, including some uh, pass-through of closed captioning, even when you're conver converting between SD and HD if you're using one of our HD servers. Cablecast 5.1 also ships with some new drivers for the SX servers. This enables PCM audio support in H.264 files. We also have some improved uh, detection for MOV aspect ratios, so 4, 3, and 16 by 9 files are uh, more accurately detected in Cablecast 5.1. We also have a more rigorous file validation process. We now, uh, before files ever played, um, it is some of the frames of the file are decoded from the beginning, the middle, and the end of the file. And if anything goes wrong in that process, a file is marked as invalid. And this should uh, even this should improve um, our file validation process even more than it was in 5.0. So that's all the new features in Cablecast 5.1. If you have any questions, contact your salesperson or dealer. Thanks.